Okay, so today we're trying something dumb. We are <laughs> using the heaviest lens I've ever held in my hand, ever. The uh, Sigma 150 to 600 Sport, which is like full metal. Yeah, we got a couple of little natives here. We got a couple of natives. My first attempt was a cardinal, but uh, it just <laughs> could not hold it still. Oh God, I can't. So again, this is the Sigma 150 to 600 Sport version, but I realize that I am a hand holder. I need a lens to be hand holdable, and uh, this is there's just no way. Tons of respect for the, you know, the Planet Earth videographers and all the photographers that shoot beautiful birds. If I show you nothing in this video, we know what happened. <laughs> Okay, I have more amateur hour for you. I forgot a camera strap or any strap, so I'm actually just carrying the lens in my arm like a dummy. And I brought a tripod, which I never use because the lens was so heavy. I was inspired by a great YouTuber that he spends like four days trying to get one shot. And he comes out and hides in a blind and oh, I was just so jealous. Although I don't predict the same amount of success, at least it got me outside, which is sometimes what we want to do. So, uh, yeah, amateur hour continues. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hello. <laughs> You ever see that, that scene in Spaceballs when they introduce the, uh, the uh, Darth Vader sort of ship? It's pretty funny. It goes on forever. That's like this lens right here. <laughs> okay, so a uh, couple of notes on amateur hour. Um, I would say the first thing is to, if you're doing this type of photography, I'm talking to myself now, by the way, I'm not giving advice here. I think my main advice for myself is to don't expect it to be easy. I think I always come out like something in a situation like this with a long lens and I just it maybe expect a hawk to land and I just get it and go home. <laughs> what I need is a hawk to just land right there. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I'm just gonna sit out here and see if anything lands or if anything happens. Also it's probably important to uh, not keep thinking it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Woodpecker! Stabilization. A little progress. Still holding the lens <laughs> like a baby. Uh, got a couple of birds. I actually saw a red tail hawk, but it took off as soon as it saw me. I'm just like so loud in the woods. So I got to work on my ninja skills. Oh, I see some birds. I'm going to be quiet now. are here in Montclair, New Jersey. And here there are some like cliffs with a lot of trees. So you're actually way above. You could see New York City in the distance. And uh, my hope is that that like a hawk, I already saw a red-tailed hawk here, but my, my hope is that one would land on one of these branches and I would just be all happy. <laughs> but remember, that's the point is just try to be happy being out here because it's sometimes so impossible to get that shot. Baby, <laughs> oh my God, so heavy. I think the lesson that I should take from this video is to really think my purchases through. I think sometimes I'm a little bit impulsive and I just saw 150 to 600. And don't get me wrong, this is a fantastic lens, a really wonderful lens, but it's not for me. I think I'm stressing a little bit because I'm trying to get great videos and photos for you guys when I go to Costa Rica. So I'll be filming a lot there, uh, but this 
This Nikon 300 millimeter PF. This is 300 millimeters. Look how small this thing is. <laughs> there's three. There's 300 in here and there's 300 in here. And this is just a joy to use. And I've gotten great photos with this 300 millimeter F4. F4, that's right. And then when you put a teleconverter on this, this is like a 420 millimeter, which is pretty good. So I could use that on the Nikon Z8. But um, maybe if I call my friends at Nikon, let's see what they'll do. Yeah, hold on. Yes, Nikon, we have a YouTube emergency. Yeah, I'm going to Costa Rica and I need a lens. Okay, can you make that happen? When? Like right now. You could send it via Bluetooth? Okay, let's do it. Oh, holy wow. Thank you so much, Nikon. That was great. Yeah, I'll be sure to use the lens in Costa Rica. Okay, thanks. Bye bye now. Wait, do I always have to wear this yellow shirt? All right, absolute true story. I did contact my friends at Nikon and I said, hey, I'm going to Costa Rica. I was thinking of doing a little bit more video. Do you have any good lenses for the Z system that you can send over? And I let, it, I let them decide. I said the 180 to 600 or maybe a 400 millimeter 4.5 or the 100 to 400. All of those are great. Uh, you know, options, although maybe the 180 to 600, I would have had the same, you know, problems. <laughs> so they sent over the 400 millimeter 4.5, which might be an option to bring instead of the 300, or I might bring both, or I don't know. Ooh, lens hood is a little rubbery at the end. I like that. Holy lightness. Oh, wow, this is really light. Is this, this is lighter than the 300 millimeter, I think. I don't need to bring this guy. So I'm thinking 400 millimeter and then the Nikon Z8 with the 70 to 180, also very lightweight. Jump to 400 and then some kind of wide lens. I think that should be great for my trip. So here we go on the Z8. Oh, wow, that's way easier, my gosh. All right, now I look forward to the trip, capturing some wildlife. I'll be sure to bring you those videos, and thanks again, Nikon, for the loner. All right, I'll see you guys next time.